Belgium. because we woke up right so it's a happy morning so guys we're doing salmon croquettes you could call them salmon patties salmon croquettes whatever you like to call them this is what we're making today for breakfast okay i have oh and guys if you like this video please let's get thumbs up let's like let's share let's subscribe okay huh the bill no. oh brandy trying to tell me stuff <laughs> I forget. He act like, I don't know what's this. He doing like this. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he want to tell you guys, hit that bell to be notified. Hit the bell to be notified. Okay. Simon Croquette. Pink Simon. Right here. I drained off the, even though I drained off the juices. Um, unfortunately, it's still a little left in the um, can. That's good. That's okay. <clears throat> now, yeah. Oh. You see this? These are bones. My God. You don't want that. Well, you know what? That's not true. Because a lot of people, because these bones are so tender when you cook them. It's so crunchy. A lot of people literally leave them in. So it's up to you if you want to leave mm -mm. them in. I kind of prefer to take as many out as I can find. Some people even remove some of the skin out of here. Just a little. That really don't bother, bother me too much. Yeah, I really don't see any more. Those like smell really good. backbone pieces. But the bones in this is so fine. I don't, you won't choke. So don't quote me on that because I'm going to buy it. So if she said I want to choke, I made it, then I got to go sue her. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got the video for proof. That I'm saying you won't choke. So let me back that up. <laughs> you may or may not choke. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I was playing. I really don't know. Some people do like to leave the bones in, you guys. I, I just want to drain a little bit more of this juice off. I, this is a little bit too much. Too much for me. And this is my trash plate. So let me do this right here. I'll put my bones at. A little bit too much. Okay. It smell good. Get that I like the fresh smell of tuna. What's that, salmon? Mm hmm I like some. So. Yeah, yeah. First of all, let me turn my grease on. On a medium high. You can use some oil, veggie oil, canola oil, olive oil, corn oil, whatever oil baby you like. Oil. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you use baby oil if you want to. <laughs> All right, I'm chopping up this. Oh yeah, and we got some grits on. Mm-hmm. Because you time. know, salmon um, cake, salmon croquettes, salmon patties. Mm -hmm. Hmm? One yeah, this one today, late Tuesday. This, I'm doing it Tuesday morning. My yeah, son's yeah. gonna have it up for you guys. Hopefully by two, three o'clock, I guess. Okay, that's all chopped up. One can, I only need one egg, guys. How long do we get out of that? Like, I want like two of those. I ain't gonna lie. This one can. I might get four or five. So it's on the sides I make them. Can I get two? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can I get three? Man, you can have more. Can I have four? You can have more. <laughs> I want the more, more. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't. Okay. I like pepper. Also, I got my pepper going in with. And a lot of people like onions and green and green peppers and stuff if you prefer all that or bread crumbs or bread i was going to say something about bread crumbs. what you ain't gonna put nothing in it only when i do um crab cakes, crab cakes. yeah i'll do it with this okay i do i put my flour in to help bind it and that's basically what the bread crumbs and the eggs do help bind the um patty the croquette together okay and while you're doing this please turn your grease so you want your grease to be nice and hot I don't like onions. I will do onion powder, not salt. This will give it that subtle 
hint of taste of onions. <clears throat> and I do put in just a little bit of Old Bay because it's um. Uh -huh. Where is a little bit at? That's not a whole lot. <laughs> Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> I need some more flour, you guys. That's how it goes to school. Go in some. Smells good. Yes. I'm using this. This is not really a teaspoon. I'm just eyeballing it. But take your tablespoon for your one can. Use about four tablespoons of flour with your egg. And just gonna stir it up. Oh, wait, right there. One second. Mustard? No. That's crab cakes, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. But I guess some people do different things to do. They need to eat and stuff. You guys know I love parsley flakes and everything. Wash your face just give me some type of life. I don't know. And my grease is on a medium heat. I don't use any salt. I just like the onion powder, the pepper, and the Old Bay for my seasoning. If you're a salt person, you want to use salt, you're welcome <clears throat> to do that. You're welcome to put in your bread crumbs or your whole white bread. The flour works well with me with, for me with the eggs. Let me get my grease about five more minutes and be right back to cook them. Okay, we're back. My pan is nice and hot. That's why I say. That's why I said to um, let your pan while you're mixing your um, your Simon up. Uh, have your grease on. You don't need that much grease. About maybe a cup of grease. And when I say a cup of grease, I'm going to show you guys, um, I got a video coming up. Okay, just like this. In the hand. Whew. Like, I like shape it like that. Okay. You yeah. know how I feel about grease. Let's match this a little bit. I have it like on a medium heat. I just mash it a teeny bit. And actually, all of these will most definitely get into my pan. You don't have to use a spoon. Mm. You can do what you do. So good. I don't grits going to be bomb with that one. Yeah. Some people make cheese grits. You can eat grits with this. Um, some people like rice. I mean, it's up to you. It's your... um. It's your meal. Put what you want with it. Um, we doing it for breakfast. Brunch, yeah, yeah. Brunch. <laughs> and um, yeah. Grits. <laughs> what? Grits. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, I, like I told you, I got, I got five. These take less than five minutes to cook. Once they're golden brown on one side, you flip them over, let them get golden brown on the, on the next side. Watch them. I'm going to wash my hands with them. Oh, yeah. Then I'm going to put them on. Let them see it cook. Hey, y'all. She just don't know, you know, five of these myself for real. <laughs> Um, Alvin Mother makes some bomb salmon cakes. Man. Crab cakes or salmon cakes? So uh, salmon no, cake. salmon cakes. She makes some salmon cakes. This is what you making. These the same ones? Yeah, these salmon cakes. Oh. Well, I'm going to taste sure I never had your salmon cake before. No, you never had mine. I know, man. His mother, man. Woo. Look, Brandon. Let me talk about other people's mothers and talk about some wood. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. That's my mother-in-law. <laughs> His mother. Woo. You would not have that in my kitchen about other people's mothers. <laughs> and they cook it. <laughs> I ain't going for that. It's like, no, that's good. 
So, have them on a medium heat. What? We about to flip these over. Oh yeah, guys. You want to flip it over then? You want to tell them? Yeah, let me flip it over. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. A little press down. Ah. I know. That's why I'm not flipping all wild. And pretty much try to start flipping with the very first one you put in. If you can remember what order you placed them in. I just told y'all that. And I don't remember what order I placed mine in. They all look the same though. Yeah. And if you like them a little bit darker, you could do a higher heat or let them stay on that side a little bit longer. I'm more to the golden brown type crisp mm -hmm. thing. Oh, what you want me to tell them right now? The one, mukbang? One channel. One channel. I'm going to go in further detail because I'm going to buy some shrimps. And I'm going to show you guys how I steam and make my shrimps. Then I'm going to do the mukbang on the shrimps because I pretty much could do that one. And I'm going to explain to you guys about my channel, about where it's on the couch at, and what we doing, what, yeah. we, what we've been researching, and information that we found um, basically to help my channel grow even more than what it's doing, to give you guys everyday content. One box. Everyday contents. Yeah. So, you got one Monday, you got one Tuesday, you got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Cool. And you guys, if you if you if y'all want to see like on the couch like at the dark, y'all need to like tell us because I'm down with it. <laughs> right Drinks now. on me. <laughs> right now, I sweat it. I'm sorry. It just don't matter because I am not a central AC house, and this little AC in my dining room do not work. That's why I got the window crack. And when I make these videos with that light, oh my god, I am so sweaty right now. You can see it all up in my face and stuff. I don't see it. <laughs> Mm. But I truly, truly feel it. <laughs> anyway, so when I do the shrimp video, I'm just gonna go in details with you guys on, you know, what's been going on. Why on the couch is not here, but it's coming back soon. It is. I miss talking to you guys. I hope that when we do come back, the telephone lines will be coming with it. A lot of people have missed the telephone line. And guys, if you're looking at me, you don't know what on the couch is. You can go through my soulful tea videos and you'll find a couple you'll find a lot of episodes of that. And you know, go peek at it. So when we come back, you be ready. So hit that bell so we notified. Mm. My croquets are cooking very, 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 very well. Yeah, so it's a lot of stuff going on, you guys, and I'm going to spill the tea while I'm eating the shrimps and talking to you guys. And one of these videos this week, but I'm just gonna let you guys know everything because you're my soul squad, you know, you've been here for me, and I'm just going to let you know how we be vamping everything, and how we thought going one way, that it would be great, but we came to a conclusion to do it another way, and so that's all we've been doing. We've been researching, trying to figure out how to get this thing done, and how to do it right, and be able to bring you guys more and more consistent content more consistent food videos more consistent blogging more consistent weight loss training because as you can tell you may not be seeing the videos but i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing i can see it in your neck and your face and yeah stuff. i'm mm. doing what i'm supposed to be doing i am so so generally proud of myself this time this go around sticking to everything but this is not that video come back and watch that video hit the bell to be notified we doing Simon Crow Cats, and guess what, Pete? <laughs> it doesn't take a lot of grease to cook them in. Brandon cooking the grits, y'all. I want some fried eggs, too. And in the eggs. I'm doing this, but we're doing a combination. Um, I think I want that one to be a little bit darker on that side. Yeah. Ooh, I want that one. <laughs> ooh, I want that one. Brandon said, ooh, I want that one. Ooh. Brandon Waller. Ooh, what we doing that, people, is. <laughs> Put some hot sauce on these joints, too. Oh, yeah, some hot sauce. Man, what? Look at how I'm sweating. Mom, you're but not sweating, though. No I don't see it anywhere. Because I can feel it. 
Okay. So guess what? My Simon Croquettes, my Simon Patties. Guys, you can do what we do. We're having grits with ours. You can have grits, you can have rice, whatever combination you feel comfortable with to eat these with, I say go for it. Again, thank you for, what? Thank you for, you know, getting my videos. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for t getting the word out. Tell people about my videos. Thank you to all my new subbies who found my channel and, you know, who just, you know, you're here for the long haul. You're here for good food. You're here for good content. That's what we yeah, try to deliver to you guys. And to the next video, guys, I'm out. Like, share, subscribe. These are my snickerdoodles, everybody. I'm going to remember, no, don't remember. Do remember the picture batter in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. They're half. Yeah, at least 30 minutes. I'm not going to make the recipe, so I'm going to put my batter back in the